Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, share and subscribe. If you've been watching me and you've not yet subscribed to join the family, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe so we can have a good time over here. <laughs> and um, I wanted to thank you guys for helping me make 1.5 or uh, what is it 1k 1.6k subscribers i'm so excited thank you so this video is a continuation of the previous face video so in if you have not watched it i will link it in the description box please watch that video first then everything i say here will make sense okay so in the previous video i showed you how to make a lightening face cream and a whitening or bleaching face cream in case you want to go to an event and in that video i said that do not use that cream for more than two weeks because it will ruin your face so i know that the next question is how do i maintain because you have to when you're done when you achieve your results you you, you when you achieve your objective you have to maintain so you will take breaks for a month or three weeks i usually take a month break okay so that month or three weeks that you're taking a break these are the natural ingredients that i use for my face you could use anything else but i'm just going to show you what i do when i am not using the whitening facial um cream or the bleaching face cream so the first thing that i use which i still showed in my old video is my face wash my cerave face wash we all know cerave is a line of natural products so this face this face wash is particularly for acne prone skin and it's for oily face as well i have a very oily face my t-zone is always really really oily so that's what this um this uh, foaming facial wash is for it contains hyaluronic acid ceramides and niacinamides which are like three big things when it comes to um skincare or cosmetics wide across wide across the board like across the board doesn't matter race or what part of the world you're from hyaluronic acid ceramides and niacinamides is a big deal it gives you a nice glow it fights niacinamide and hyaluronic acid uh, fights against hyperpigmentation and they are anti dark spot hyaluronic acid gives you that youthful glow it almost tries to give you that glass skin your skin looks really nice and shiny and just plump like you woke up in the morning like a baby so this is what I use. I use this even when I use that whitening face cream. So I use this as well. And then the other thing that I use will be my vitamin C um, face serum. Why did I do my vitamin? Okay. This is my vitamin C serum that I use. So you don't have to get the exact same vitamin C serum that I use. Vitamin C is vitamin C. If you're, if you're in the West, if you're in the states or canada go get a vitamin c either at target at burlington walmart um or at tj maxx or at marshall's they have lots of really good vitamin c's on there um the other vitamin this one is from a brand called elasta lift this is what the vitamin c looks like this one is done so i already got a different one from advanced clinicals this is a very good brand as well so i have my vitamin c that i use i have my hyaluronic acid this is 90 percent hyaluronic acid it says a facial serum oh man this i don't know what to do i don't know if you can see i don't know so i have my hyaluronic acid and i will tell you how i layer them okay and then I have my collagen I have my collagen right here this is also from Elastalift I got this collagen at TJ Maxx and then I got this hyaluronic acid serum at Burlington and they are all under $5 except for this collagen it was like $7 and then the next thing that I also use um, is my rose hip oil for my face and I use this because it's an anti wrinkle oil and it has vitamin C and it's anti-aging as well so like I always say don't wait until you're 40 or 38 to start using anti-aging products start using anti-aging products today it doesn't matter you are supposed to start using anti-aging products and wearing sunscreen at the age of 18 so I would like to say I'm very late because I'm way way past 18 so if you are still 18 you are lucky please start
start using anti-aging products today and start wearing sunscreen so i have this as well and then i have my jojoba my jojoba oil that i use which i forgot to bring well done sally well done okay so after i have washed my face with this um i also have my micellar water that i use to clean my face this takes out when you go out every day you have to come back and deep clean your face so you don't only have to do that when you have makeup on you also have to do it every evening because you layer this product you have serums and all these oils so you need to clean them before you put more oils and more serums on top of the ones that have already been there so what i do is i clean my face with this before i start applying everything else so let me explain the whole procedure to you so when i wash my face with this cerave cleanser i dry my face i use my rose water micellar water and clean my face with it this is really good it contains water uh allantoin citric acid i'm gonna make a whole video about the importance of micellar water so i clean my face with micellar water i let it to dry down the next thing i do is i apply a few drops of my vitamin c i evenly distribute my vitamin c and i leave out my eye area because when you use vitamin c you are more susceptible your skin becomes hypersensitive to sunlight so you can easily get sunburned so you don't want to apply vitamin c around your eye areas because they're really soft so i leave out my eye areas and i apply vitamin c everywhere else the next thing that i apply is my hyaluronic acid this hyaluronic acid i apply it around my eyes because it also works i apply it on my eye areas because it also works on the the on the eye uh, swellings the eye bags the under eye bags that you have so I apply this all over my face and on on top and under my eyes as well and then the next thing that I apply is a few drops of my collagen I evenly distribute it all over and when you do this don't forget to apply below your neck from like your chin and below as well I apply my collagen and then the next thing I do I apply my rose hip oil all over my face including my eye areas as well and then i seal it off with my jojoba oil i seal everything with my jojoba oil so that is my procedure if i want to go out i always wear my sunscreen this is my sunscreen from neutrogena i always wear my h shield face oil free sunscreen it's good for people with acne so ladies that is my procedure of how um, I do my face maintenance when I'm not doing face whitening. So that is my maintenance procedure. I hope that this video was helpful. I remember for the whitening cream, do not use it more than two weeks and take a break while you're on a break. This is the procedure that you will follow. This is a very natural procedure. If you're not into skin lightening or anything like that, you can use this procedure. It will clear your hyperpigmentation. It will treat your face of rashes. And, and you know, if you have melasma, if you have sunburns, it will treat all of those completely. So this is a recipe for everyone, all right? Thank you guys for staying. Have a lovely day. Until the next video, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye.